Since 2011, the TP Tour Series has been hosting one-day tournaments throughout the UK at some of Britain's most iconic golf courses. It's given both touring pros and young amateurs a necessary opportunity to compete in a shorter and often more exciting format. This week we're here for the London Pairs at Ealing Golf Club. I've been playing in these TP events for I think three or four years now and um, I really do look forward to them because it's, it's, uh, it's just a slight insight into what life would be like if I was doing this for a living. You have to go out and you have to play well and you have to play well against some of the best players in the countries. How do you think the experience of a one-day tournament kind of sits with you and, and in terms of um, what's available to up-and-coming amateurs as well, having been an amateur yourself? To start, um, it, the pressure is slightly different. It's not a, um, a four-day event, it's a little bit like a marathon. You can pace yourself around the tournament. When it's 18 holes, it's uh, all or nothing. So it's kind of in a little bit, it's like a match play event, but every shot counts. So it does get you ready for those pressure moments out on tour. Last year I got into the playoff and uh, we transitioned from four ball to foursomes, which pretty much changed everything because you play your own ball, you kind of rely on your partner a little bit to help you out if you're not having a good hole. Then all of a sudden you, you switch straight into foursomes under a lot of pressure with people watching. So I, I just think it's really unique, it's a really good idea. Harry Flower, you've got 12 and a half thousand subscribers to your YouTube channel following your trials and tribulations of turning pro. Um, how did that all come about? I can't even believe we've got 12,500 to be honest, it's mad, but to start with it just started out as fun videos uh, and then sort of two years down the line I decided to kind of pursue my golf and I know it's a bit cliche but follow the dream and I started doing that and it's kind of taken off doing daily vlogs and people just following my progress and just kind of trying to build a community as well where people can talk and share ideas and they can learn from me and I can hopefully learn from them as well in the comment section. So you've played on a number of TP Tour events all over the country. How important are events like this for you uh, to, in order to grow and how, uh, to help the amateur circuit grow as well here? I think it's fantastic. You've got uh, such a strong field of players here. You've got um, current uh, European Tour players here. You've got players who are also just kind of trying to make it up through the mini tour. So you've got all kind of level of golfers. Um, the courses you play are just immaculate. I mean, I think the greens here are running at 12.3 today on the field. Super Something fast. It's just insanely quick. I mean, back down in Devon, we don't have anything like that. So it's the quality of courses, the strength of the field. And that's what's fantastic as well about TV tours that men and women can come and play together, especially in a pairs event like this. Get them mixed up, mix it up a little bit. I think it's fantastic. I've always enjoyed playing on very fast greens. And they, today it was amazing. I had a lot of fun, yes. So how exactly does the format work here today? Well, there are 40 pairs playing in four balls better ball for 18 holes. And then the top six pairs will move on to a foursomes two-hole playoff on holes one and eight. And then any ties for the lead remaining after that will be decided by a sudden death foursomes playoff on hole 18. And they will play that again and again and again until the winning pair emerges. A TP Tour finale always promises drama. Eddie Neil, congratulations, you played, what, 25 holes there, how does it feel? We got there in the end, that was the main thing, so we pleased, it was good, yeah. did well, got a drive home. It was home. good That's fun, it was good fun as well. We're good friends, so obviously we've played together, obviously throughout junior golf, and working our way up, so we know each other's game and I can sort of tolerate him and he can <laughs> tolerate me, so, you know, we did, we did all right, tolerate I thought we had my negative well. vibes. <laughs> yeah, well. And we've yeah. not played the course, so I thought that was quite yeah, good. Yeah, not played here before either. Never so. played here before. I thought it was a great, obviously the green's fantastic and course is in tremendous conditions.